Oracle Cloud Sub-Inventory Transfers. Hi, I'm Linus, and in today's video, you will learn the easiest way to transfer material around inside of your same inventory organization. I say the easiest way because sub-inventory transfers are way more simple than movement requests. So we're in a demo environment as Casey Brown, going to the supply chain execution area and then to the inventory management application. On the right side, open the task panel and then click on the third from the top, create sub-inventory transfer. As soon as you're in here, you have to select the type, but there is only one type, so sub-inventory transfer. And as our item is not serial number controlled, we don't have to check this box here. Then click on the plus to add a line. And of course, we have to select an item first. So I type the first two digits and then tap out. And it gives us the on-hand quantity down here. So I have 130. And let's say my source up inventory, so where I'm sending it from, let's put this as inspection. I should have 30, right? So in an inspection, I have 30 items that I can transact. So now what I want to do is select a destination sub inventory where I want to transfer my items to. So click and select one of these. Let's take quarantine, for example. So they're coming from inspection sub inventory. And I did the inspection and realized, damn, five of them are not good anymore. I can't use it. Let's say it's a computer and it's broken, but we still want to keep it and don't want to issue it out right away. We want to keep it for their parts. So we put it in quarantine, right? So let's say 10 of these computers go into quarantine. Maybe I can find a reason. Yeah, let's say it's defect. And that's everything you need to put into a sub inventory transfer. Now you can submit and it will be executed right away. So that's a super easy way to move material from one sub inventory to another. Or if you have locator controlled items from one locator to another one. But as you can see, that's actually very simple. So we don't have approval rules. We don't have a real picking order or something like this. And these are things that movement requests bring into the game. And that's why the next videos will be covering movement requests and the different steps that you have to perform to be able to include more functionality when moving items around in your inventory organization. So make sure to check them out right now.